welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vlogmas um today we are gonna go through the handbags i sold and why i just posted a few days ago my just handbag collection kind of recap of 2019 and kind of talk through um me selling a few bags and that a few bags were missing and i got a lot of questions around why i sold those bags so i thought that would be helpful this year i have really streamlined my collection and just made sure anything that i have i love and i get um like wear out of so i really stopped buying bags just because they were trendy or just spur the moment or just because you know i just felt like they were popular or cool or whatever you ha may have you um and i really just focused on like styles that i know i love styles that i know i get my wear out of and then investing more in like um, colors that also like just work well with my lifestyle so I wrote down all of my bags that I sold. I wrote down the prices, where I got them from, and then we'll chat through just why I sold them. So let's get into it. And we're just sitting at my kitchen table because it's Vlogmas and this is vlog style. So I hope the lighting and sound and everything is okay. So let's get into it. And of course I will be just putting up pictures because I don't have the bags anymore. I'm sure that was obvious. Um, the first bag I sold, well, this is in no particular order because I honestly don't remember. But first on my list is my nude Chanel top handle. And I don't know like the specifics on this bag, obviously because it was pre-loved. I purchased it from Fashion File and I paid $1,700 for it. I'll put a picture here. And this bag, I mean, a lot of people love this bag anytime I showed it. Um, it was a great kind of neutral. And I bought it when I still had my full-time job at Target. And it was great. I wore it all the time. It was a perfect work bag because I could fit like, I want to say it was probably like this big. So like I could fit a notebook in it. Um, I could fit just like everything I needed. I could fit a water bottle in it. It was a flap. So I love that style, but it had a top handle. It didn't have a long strap, but that was fine because I just carried it carried it to work and I would always just hold it by the top handle or put it on my arm left walking into work um, but once I left Target and just kind of like this entrepreneurial lifestyle um, I really just didn't use the bag and I noticed that I also just didn't use it in my spare time or outside of work which was fine because at least I still got use out of it at work but then once I didn't work there anymore or I didn't go somewhere every day. Um, I just didn't have a lot of use for big bags in general. That wasn't a huge bag, but it was bigger than um, like a medium flap. I, it would be more like, a, I guess, like a maxi size kind of. Um, and it was just too big and I just didn't wear it, especially like on the weekend, anytime. As much as it would go with a lot because it was a neutral color, I just never reached for it. Um, and I do prefer, I love a top handle, but I do also like having the option of a strap and that didn't have one. And I purchased like alternative straps to put on it, but I just never like love, love, loved it. Um, I do miss having that color, but not really. Like I prefer more of a cream color than, than a beige color. So, so I finally just buckled down and sold it because um, I had so many people every time I would talk about it and say like how much I don't wear it people would email me or um, DM me and ask me if I wanted to sell it. So finally I gave in and I did and I honestly haven't missed it at all. So um, the next bag I sold. <laughs> there are two of the same bag and that is the balenciaga city mini i bought that bag twice and i sold it twice i had it in gold with it was like a, um, a distressed kind of gold of course i put a picture up and i also had it in lilac which was most recent and i sold both of them i love this bag i just can't figure out the perfect color um i do have the regular size in gray and i want the mini i love the mini i just can't figure out the size that <laughs> i mean the um color that i need so i bought the gold and i felt like that was like a great neutral that would go with everything but i also have um like a vintage chanel bag that's gold so i would always reach for that instead of that that makes sense so i sold it and i was like you know what i'm gonna get fun color i'm gonna pop a color and i was kind of just on the hunt keeping my eyes out and then before fashion week this year i found the lilac one and i went back and forth between like they had a lilac one they had a mint colored one and i think they had a yellow one and i feel like i should have went with the yellow but i bought the lilac one i just thought it was so pretty and at the time there was like an outfit i was wearing in fashion week and it matched it and i was like oh this is perfect and then I just never wore it. I didn't even end up wearing it to fashion week. <laughs> and so like a month later I sold it because I was just like every time I got dressed like I was like forcing it to go with things and like really like struggling for it to match things. 
and it just did not work like I don't have a lot of pastels and even with like neutral colors it was just okay but I had bags I liked more and I would always wear those so I sold that but I'm still on the hunt I feel like closer to the summer I'm gonna probably get it in a yellow is what I'm thinking I really want a yellow bag like that's that has been like the color I'm really loving and I've been looking for a bag and trying to figure out I don't want I don't think I want to spend like Chanel prices on a yellow bag but I feel like if I could find a Balenciaga City Mini in yellow that would be good and I could probably find it pre-loved for like six or seven hundred dollars um also I bought the gold Balenciaga for five hundred dollars from Fashion File and I bought the lilac Balenciaga for for six hundred dollars from Fashion File so they're great on the pre-loved market like you can find really good deals so I'm thinking yellow is what I'm thinking stay tuned it'll be on my 2020 wish list which is coming okay next up is my lady dior in coral and i purchased it from fashion file for either 17 or 1800 dollars and that bag was beautiful it was my first dior bag and i have a ton of pictures that i'll pop up um it was so ladylike so elegant the leather the leather on dior bags is just mm, supple um but i've that was like my first pop of color bag but it just wasn't quite right it was always just a little off and what i really was missing was a red bag um it was coral so anytime i wore it it wasn't pink enough and it wasn't red enough for like accessories or just things i wanted to do with my outfit um you know if i wanted to wear red lip then it was like a little off and not perfect um i have like a few pairs of pink shoes but then like that would clash so it was just always like <sighs> kind of a hassle <laughs> so and then also the leather was so supple that it was kind of scary because I felt like every time I wore it like I would bump into something or like the light color mixed with the like suppleness of the leather it was too much for me to take <laughs> it was just it was just always a hassle and then it was stressful thinking I was gonna mess it up so yeah I sold that one I love love like that was a hard bag to sell because I loved it but I was like I finally decided like I want this bag but I want it in black like I saw it a couple of times and then I was always like in the shops like looking at different colors and thinking about what would go with my lifestyle and I was like I really want this bag in black with silver hardware like I like that vibe I like it a little edgy and then it it just I feel like that would work with my style best so of course as you know that's what I found so it worked out but that was a hard bag to sell because it was just so beautiful so yeah um next up another <laughs> bag where I had two of them and I've sold both of them sorry I'm still working through my cold we're almost there um but it's the Valentino Rockstud and I bought this bag in cream and sold it and I bought it in hot pink and sold it and I still want it <laughs> so again this is nothing about the bag this is just me struggling to find the right color and again I told you that's what 2019 is about I'm trying to find bags that work in my lifestyle I don't have to force I don't have to think too hard about so I first purchased this bag in hot pink in suede and I was so I was so hype I was so so hype I did unboxing and I was just it's not on my channel I did it on stories I think but I was so hype I was amped for this bag and I wore it and I didn't love 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 the color and I also feel like it just had a little more wear than I wanted because of the suede like you could tell the, the color wasn't super vibrant and yeah and I just it just wasn't I didn't love it like after I wore it for a couple times it was like okay but I just felt like this isn't the color I want it's not the right color um so I sold that and then I found it in cream and leather and this is the first bag I actually regret selling yeah I, I, so I bought the bag I found it in cream it was perfect and I bought this bag I want to say this this year I want to say earlier this year and I wore it all summer and it was beautiful it went with everything anytime I had an outfit I could pull that bag but the problem with that is it again it was Valentino leather again very supple beautiful like you just felt like you were getting your money's worth but it was cream so every time I touched anything there was a spot on this bag like every time me and Josh would go out I remember we like went to like um a restaurant and we had lunch and I remember like I kept having to like oh can you grab me like grab me a napkin I need to like wipe this spot off my bag and they would always come off 
but it was just like so stressful like i would be sitting it down like oh god where can i sit it that like no one will touch it and nothing will happen to it it was so stressful anytime i would like hold it in my hand there would be a spot anytime anytime i wore it i would have to go home and clean off a spot and that was just it just made it no fun where it was just too stressful but i still regret it because i love 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 that bag so now i'm thinking i'm gonna get it again because i love it but maybe like they have it in a metallic i just need something hard wearing um so yeah i haven't quite figured that out but i love that bag it is so classic it's so timeless but it's so extra but i can't do that i can't do that cream it was so stressful <laughs> But I do regret it. I actually went on Fashion File because I sold it back to them. That you can do that. And I actually almost bought it again. Because I love it that much. But someone had already bought it. Like I went back on the site. And I saw it and I was like, mm, I should buy it. And then I went back a couple days later and it was gone. So, yeah. Okay. Lastly, <laughs> the last bag I sold this year was a Fendi bucket bag. And it was a very small bucket bag. Of course, I'll put up a picture. Um, I bought that bag from TJ Maxx. Um, near me they have a runway collection or section in the store and it was only 800 bucks and I also purchased a Fendi little strap from Fashion File for 500 to go on the bag and I loved this bag it super cute it was super fun but I'm just not a bucket bag style person um, so after a while I just really didn't reach for it anymore it was navy so the color wasn't perfect this was a time where I bought something because it was on sale um, I really wanted this bag in like the the Zuka print um but I just happened to see it at TJ Maxx and I just felt like $800 was such a steal um so I bought it but I didn't love it I don't think I ever loved it but it was like cute and a good deal so I once I came to that realization <laughs> I sold it and um haven't missed it since so um also I don't know if I said the Valentino Rocks does the price I bought the cream one for $1,800 and the pink one for $1,400 or $1,500. So you can find deals, but usually the leather ones are a little pricier. Um, but Fashion File always has a good stock. So yeah, that's the only one. So on my list, the Rockstud is, no, the Rockstud in the, in the City Mini. So I want to get the City Mini again, but I'm thinking in yellow. Let me know what we think about that. I feel like that would just go with a lot. Like in summer, it would go with whites, it would go with grays, it'd be pretty with brown, it'd be pretty with tans. Mm. Let me know what we think about that. And then the rock stud, I'm thinking, I'll put up a picture. I'm thinking <laughs> a metallic silver, but then it's like the studs don't pop as much. Ugh. Or should I just get the cream again and like just wipe it off? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know let's look let's look on fashion file let's look on fashion file and see what our options are right now you're just i mean we're vlogging right this is real time let's just see what the options are oh my god they are vacuuming in the hallway so if you can hear that sorry to that woman um we're gonna have to bear through it and they're getting closer oh my god okay rock stud let's see let's see what our options are i will put up <laughs> something on this oh my god there's like a deep wine color okay let me i'm gonna i'm gonna screenshot it so you can see what i'm seeing right now oh my god it's only fourteen hundred dollars this is fashion file is nothing but trouble i'm telling you what else do they have they have a mm, they have like a coral we know that's not the color for us um they have another cream but it has and eh, it's not it's not it's not it's a weird textured leather. Mm, I don't like that. Um, what else do they have? Oh, let me screenshot the cream so you guys can see what I'm seeing. But it's only fifteen hundred dollars, and it's in excellent condition. I think I feel like the spikes are too dark, though. I don't like that. What else? Can you hear the vacuuming? Oh my God, they're like right in front of the door. I'm so sorry, but everybody's got a job to do, right? Ooh, they have like this, but I don't need another red bag. They have a really pretty red. And it's only eleven hundred dollars. Like these are a steal for the quality of the bags. Buying them pre-loved. Oh my god. This is like brand new. It's in excellent condition. It's an extra ten percent off today. So it's eleven hundred dollars. Oh my god. But who needs two red bags, right? Like, who needs two red bags? Tell me that. I'm screenshotting it. It'll be right here. Ugh. 
of course I'll link pre-loved bag like pre-loved options of all of these bags below but I feel like I just haven't looked in a while and we should I'm also considering do I need a mini of the rock stud let me know um because they have they've had it for a long time a little metallic mini I'll show you a picture um and it's so cute but I feel like that just makes it like too evening evening e <laughs> it's only 1300 Mm, I'm gift. I'm definitely getting this bag again. So we just have to find the right color, you know, that like really speaks to me. Let's go to the second page, and then we'll wrap this up. But we're shopping. Also, I've been thinking about a denim bag too. That has nothing to do with this list, but they have a denim one here. Um, but I wouldn't want it in this. I don't. I don't know. But I do want. I think I do want a denim bag. I feel like maybe I'll get a denim Chanel bag. Let's focus. Okay, I think that's all the rock studs they have. Is it? Should we look at city bags? I mean, while we're here, right? Let's see, oh, we've been talking for five minutes. That's kind of a long time. Quickly, we're gonna go through city mini. Okay, we're just gonna look and see what, what comes up. Maybe they have a yellow one. Let's see, they have 12. They have, oh, they have a really cute mini in gray, but I have that other gray one, so. No. No, nothing here for us. They have cobalt. Oh, they have a really cute shiny black, but nothing I need. Well, that's that on that. I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps you think about how uh, my thought process was with purchasing designer handbags and kind of like, I feel like I've really kind of honed in on um, my designer handbag style this year. So Hopefully I'll have to sell less next year because I feel like the collection I have right now, there may be like one or two I'm iffy about. But everything that I've recently purchased, I truly love. I truly like thought long and hard about it before I made that purchase. So, of course, if you stuck around this long, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell, like, share. Please share. If you love my content, please make sure you share it with other people um, so we can grow this thing. You all tell me like how amazing my channel is not to toot my own horn but people you guys say that and that you really like my content so please share it with people that you think would like it as well um i really have some big goals for 2020 and i love 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 youtube like it is my favorite platform it's where i love creating the most so hopefully we can do big things in 2020 but i won't keep you any longer thank you so much for watching see ya